Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here on Honeymoon Island State Park, and I just came across right this second a gopher tortoise. Today's episode is about this gopher tortoise, so stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So I'm standing here on Honeymoon Island Beach State Park in a special kind of maritime forest that is made up of slash pine and these amazing cabbage palms, which I think are just so beautiful. Where it doesn't look like there's any soil and it's an extreme environment, but there's such an abundance of wildlife here. And the wildlife here, the birds and mammals, and reptiles that exist in this place are just amazing and it's a tough place to live it gets really hot and dry here in the summertime and it's uh, a place of extremes all around me here i started walking around this area after i found and videoed this turtle before he disappeared into his den and found many many tortoise burrows spread all around through this area the gopher tortoise, of course, gets its name because it builds burrows like a gopher. In fact, some of these burrows can be six feet deep and up to 40 feet long. I think they average about 15 or 16 feet in length. These tortoises are mainly solitary, except for the breeding season. Turtles may use the burrows of other turtles, but you'll probably never find more than one turtle in any single burrow. The gopher tortoise is known as a keystone species. Keystone species is a species whose presence or absence determines the ecology of the whole ecosystem. And if the gopher tortoise is not present, many, many species will disappear. When the gopher tortoise is here, there'll be a great variety of species that lives because of the existence of the gopher tortoise. It's estimated that some two to 300 species live here and depend on the gopher tortoise for their survival. Some of these species include the eastern indigo snake, the gopher frog, Florida mouse, hundreds of different rodents and invertebrates, and even this diamondback rattlesnake, which I found. So these rattlesnakes, like this diamondback rattlesnake, need these burrows to protect themselves from either very high temperatures or very low temperatures, as well as from drying out in the sun. All of these species, however, in the case of fire, which is a typical normal part of this ecosystem, need a refuge, a place to escape from the temperatures. And a six foot deep, 40 foot long gopher tortoise burrow is the perfect place for so many of these species, not only just in day to day life and seasonally protection from heat or cold, but this is their place to escape from fire. Without the gopher tortoise, many of these species would not exist, and a fire, of course, would wipe them out, leading to years and years uh, before the species recover. Gopher tortoises are on the federal threatened species list, and they're protected by law. There's heavy fines and even jail penalties for disturbing a gopher tortoise or for destroying their nest sites. So when there's new construction going on, the areas have to be surveyed for the presence or absence of gopher tortoises. And if they're present, there's a lot of red tape and a lot of things they have to do before they'll be allowed to construct there. No one can disturb a gopher tortoise or its burrow. I walked through this area and saw so many gopher tortoise uh, burrows spread all around through here. So I marveled at amount of work that they did. Some of these turtles can probably live up to 60 or 90 years. So some of these are very, very old and have been here a very long time. The greatest threat to gopher tortoises, of course, is habitat destruction. Take away these forests, take away these areas they live, and they'll disappear. And along with them, 
up to 350 other species that are dependent on them and dependent on their burrows could disappear as well. Check out my playlist on uh, seas and beach and marine life and I'll have a number of different episodes that are based here on Honeymoon Island, the Clearwater, Florida area. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, and turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.